Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum, it's me Talha. In this video, I will be sharing with you a website, rktree.com, that provides you very high quality Revit families to help you create amazing floor plans, sections, elevations, and renderings in Revit. Let's get started. So, first, let's go to rktree.com. And here as you can see we got the Revit families in all the categories we need such as trees, entourage, plants, vehicles, uh, furniture and we have some free families here as well. In this video I am going to be demonstrating how you can use these families in Revit. So let's open up Revit and I have already opened this project and I have created this topography for this tutorial to show you how you can I use the architectural families on topo surface so first let's load a tree family let's go to component load family and here I have these architectural families let's load this one and let's place that here and it's not looking realistic we just got this basic tree model here the reason for that is right now the detail level of this view is set to course if i change the detail level to medium we will get this realistic tree if i change it to fine we will get a lot more realistic tree here so this is one of the features all the architectural families have we get three different models for three different um, detail views here so this way we can work smoothly on our project now i will just go to level one to see this tree family in this plan view let's zoom in here you can see we got this tree symbol here for the 2d views which would be very helpful when we are creating the floor plans still if we want to show the realistic tree you can just change the detail level to fine there you go we got this realistic tree even uh, in this 2d plan here now let's go back to 3d let's delete this one now here I want to place plenty of vegetation uh, components here you know that it would be very time consuming if we uh, just place them one by one so architecture provides you a dynamo script that can be used to populate or to scatter the architecture families so I will show you now how you can do that let's go to manage and open up the dynamo first I will show you how you can install the architecture dynamo scripts so the dynamo is now open you just need to go to packages and then search for a package and here in the search bar just type architecture populate and we got the architecture populate script here you can just click on this button to install this script i'm not going to do that because i have already installed this script so i'll just close this uh, dynamo and we need to open up the dynamo player and you can see all these scripts are loaded here if it's not you can just click on this folder icon and then go to C drive and then program data and then Autodesk and then uh, the Revit version uh, you are using and in that folder you will see architecture I will put the path to this folder on the screen so you can easily navigate to this architecture folder anyway you just need to select this folder and click ok and then you will see all these scripts here now to use these scripts first we need to load and place the components which we want to scatter in our project so let's do that let's minimize the dynamo player go to architecture component load family and i want to use this tree here you just need to make sure that you are using a scalable version so that when you use the dynamo script to scatter this component you can give a different height i think this component was already loaded so let's load another one this time i want to load a palm tree here also we have this scalable version of this component let's open this up and then we can just select that from here here we have this tree place here and then we want to load a palm tree 
place that one also here you can remove these trees once you finish scattering them now let's open up the dynamo player so there are two ways to scatter uh, these components you can either use on face option or in a boundary in this video i'm going to be using this in a boundary option so for that we first need to create the boundary in our project so let's do that go to the site plan and let's use this model line i will quickly create a sketch around this topography where i want to scatter the vegetation so i have created this sketch around this topography now let's go back to 3d and let's open up the dynamo player and i want to use this script any types in a boundary let's click edit inputs and here we have the options to select the components as well as the boundaries so first let's select the components now let's select the boundaries okay here it's a bit difficult to select these boundaries so what we can do is we'll first isolate these boundaries let's cancel to get out of this command then minimize this dynamo player and just hover over this model line and hit tab key to select all the joined lines and then just hold control key and select both these families and uh, just go here and isolate element now we can easily select these uh, model lines let's open up the dynamo player the components are already selected so we can just select the boundary again just make a selection like this and then we have the maximum number of elements we want so i will put 100 and the minimum distance between the elements will be 2 meters and the minimum height for vegetation is 3 meters and the maximum height i want to give 15 meters now here you have the option if you want to scatter the planting families you can use uh, this option here to hide the planters now just scroll up and run the script there you go the run is, is now completed it's showing run completed with errors just ignore this warning because sometimes dynamo shows this warning even uh, after running the scripts correctly so anyway let's minimize this and record this scattered vegetation here obviously it's not looking realistic because the detail level is set to course if i change it to medium you can see we got this amazing scattered vegetation here let's unhide all the elements by clicking here and then reset temporary hide or isolate there you go we got this amazing scattered vegetation here now if i zoom in here you can see the trees did not place perfectly on this topography if i hover over this tree some part of it is inside uh, this topography so let's fix that just make a selection like this and then we can just filter the planting just check none and select planting click ok now you don't need to select the topography instead first you need to select a face of a geometry or a floor which is above the topography if you don't have any you can just temporarily create a new floor uh, above the topography and then uh, you can delete that once you finish the placement of this for me i have this floor here which is above the topography so we'll just click here and then we need to click on uh, pick new host again and now we can select this topography there you go all this uh, vegetation is now perfectly placed on this topography now i will show you how you can create the architree 3d grass on this topo surface and the method for that is also the same so let's go to site plan and first we need to place the grass families which we want to scatter let's go to architecture i have already loaded the grass families in this project so i'll just go to component and then from this drop down let's select the grass family okay first we need to make sure what kind of grass family uh, we can use 
so let's cancel and open up the dynamo player just go back and go to the grass placement again for the grass also we have the same options we can either uh, use uh, grass on element or we can use a grass in boundary so I want to use this and I want to use it for large areas because you can see the area of this topography is more than five meters so I want to use this one if the area is smaller uh, you can use the other scripts you can see the sizes here now let's click edit input and here you can see the name of the component which we can use so for the grass we can use uh, any kind of e families so let's just take this here and select component and just type grass here we have it even e2 e3 you can either use only single family uh, in all three inputs here or you can choose three different uh, grass families and i'm going to use three different ones so let's place them And we need to place the F1 as well. If you see here in the description, it's mentioned uh, for the border, we need to use F1. So let's place that here. Now, okay, here I just noticed we have this gap. We can easily uh, rearrange these trees even after scattering. And we can change the sizes of these components as well. Uh, let's select this tree. Here we have this handle i can use this to resize this component anyway now let's go back to grass here so in the first input i want to select even here we have it archi grass even and for the second input let's use e2 and for the third e3 and for the border f1 and then we need to select the boundary so let's uh, isolate these lines again just hover over this model line hit tab key and then uh, just press hi okay we better select these as well just hold control key and select all of these and then press hi to isolate these elements now click select and select all these model lines and then run the script there you go the run is now completed and you can see we did not get any errors this time let's minimize this player and go to 3d and you can see we got this 3d grass but again uh, this grass also did, did not place perfectly on this topo uh, on this topo surface so let's fix that just select this grass and right now you can see it's in a single group so we can just click here to ungroup and then pick new host and we want to select the face of any elements uh, which is above the topo uh, topography i will select this floor and then pick new host again and this time select the topography there you go the grass is now perfectly placed on this topo surface if i zoom in here okay we have uh, some gaps here the reason for that is the detail level is medium so if i make it fine we will get more realistic grass here and uh, it's looking just amazing now let's test these arbitrary families with Enscape. So let's start the Enscape. So the Enscape is now started. Let's quickly go to this vegetation here. We'll just double click. And as you can see, these uh, arbitrary vegetation families are looking way more realistic in Enscape. Now I will show you how you can link the Enscape assets with the arbitrary families so first let's minimize the enscape and pause the enscape and i will just change the detail level to course now let's go to site plan and i want to load a new component here so let's go to architecture select component 
load family let's go to this folder and i want to use this architectry family let's open this up okay that component was already loaded so let's search here here we have it archifigure standing let's place this guy here and obviously it's looking like this because of the detail level if i make it medium we'll get a realistic uh, human figure here now let's uh, go back to Inkscape and see that first i will just resume Inkscape live there we go we got this human figure here now let's say you want to use this component only for the 2d drawings such as uh, floor plans and the sections and elevations but for the Enscape, you want to use the Enscape asset instead of this architectural component so now i will show you how you can do that let's minimize the Enscape and pause it and then uh, open up the asset library now let's say you want to show this guy uh, in the Enscape, but for the revit uh, 2d plans and the elevations you want to use uh, this human figure so to do that first you need to place this component in your project we only want to copy the Enscape asset id so now let's close this and select this component edit type and if i scroll down here you can see we have the Enscape id we just need to copy this uh, id just click and then Control c now we can delete this component and select this one edit type and here we have the Enscape id parameter so we just need to paste that click ok and then resume the Enscape there you go we got the Enscape asset instead uh, of the architectry family here you can do that with the vegetation families as well you just need to copy the Enscape asset id uh, and just put that in the architectry families so this was a quick demonstration on architectry families there were many other features uh, of these families which i could not cover in this video so for the, for the detailed uh, videos or tutorials on these families you can check out tutorials page on their website and to get updates about their new projects you can follow them on their social media accounts all the links are mentioned in the description so that's it for this video i will see you guys very soon